Hello everybody and welcome to the continuous um, working with the Olympus Pen EED and uh, as I said in the beginning the viewfinder was actually very dirty and is still very dirty so I will um, make a part which will be the part 5 uh, so um, and of course then after that I mean I will also take the the CDS uh, win window here because it's also very dirty so uh, I will simply clean those two parts uh, in this video so <clears throat> yeah let's go ahead and um, it's very easy to come to come into the viewfinder itself uh, it's glued into place but uh, it's actually very easy to take apart now uh, it's not a good idea to take out the glass element the lens element in here because they are also uh, fixed in uh, in the plastic here um, with some glue or so on each lens element there is a double lens uh, on the back here <coughs> cemented I think or maybe it's just glued into place here but um, I need to simply uh, clean the viewfinder and as you probably can see if we take a torch maybe it's better to put the cover on so there and if we look through it well it actually very dirty and I think uh, I mean, I take a sneak peek inside, and it's both uh, on the front, on the back, and inside of the on the lens surface in here. But um, how do we actually do this? <coughs> well, I will use some isopropyl alcohol, 99%, to clean this uh, viewfinder. Well, I could take some cotton buds. I mean, if you use it in here, uh, you have not really a good control of what you actually are doing. And you will probably just move the dirt and whatever, whatsoever inside, just move it around. And then you will see it on the back side of the lens or the inside here. So what to do? Well, I uh, try to figure it out and simply cut some tools. <laughs> Yeah, you might think, well, <clears throat> well, it's just a strip of of uh, the peg pad, uh, this here, and um, I simply took some plastic sheet and cut, so it fits. Uh, it actually fit inside here for the very white uh, lens and the next lens element here I cut it to this and for the last it will say the back lens element in here I cut this uh, piece of plastic and also cut the uh, the uh, lens wipe uh, to actually put over the plastic sheet and make it as a um, sensor cleaning swap or something and I think it will work <clears throat> but uh, now we know how it looks and uh, well I can just clean the front and the back <coughs> with a normal tissue not cut <laughs> and see how it will go not a lot you have to do use so and hopefully it will be better hmm well it looks uh, actually fine on the front but uh, how about the inside 
<coughs> I mean, you can see there is a lot of dirt here. So, uh, yeah, it is <laughs> really dirty. So I will just take the one, uh, the whitest one here, and simply use this and do something like that. And I can just move it <coughs> two or three times, um, and you can see you do not really have to use a lot in there, so it can simply fit in here. I think it will be a good thing. Well, just give it a try. So, and that's wet. So hopefully it will work. I mean, I do not think, I, I do not want to take out the, uh, the um, lens itself. Nah, the plastic hmm. sheet is cut a little too big, but with a scissor we will just uh, cut it and then we'll try again. And since I have not tried, it's a trial error. Try and error. So that we fit it in. And uh, just hold it up to the inside of the lens. And, hmm. Yeah. Something inside that is not just dirt. So, I will just try to use some. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> I will simply just try to use some hydrogen peroxide because I think I just have an idea of it is not only dirt. So I will give it a go with the hydrogen peroxide. See how good it will go. Sometimes I I mean, most of the time I really get surprised what it can do. And simply cut a piece here. So simple as that. And then we have another piece. And then this uh, the tool. So, now it's fine. And then, just take a little of this amazing stuff. Maybe it's better to just put it in here. So, that's much more than enough, but... It was not so good. Mm. Well, damn. <coughs> Things happen, but uh, with a cotton pot, it should be easy to take out. It's not a problem. It was just a tiny drop, so it looks fine. Better put it aside. <laughs> Now, <coughs> unexpected. Now, <coughs> we will see how it will go with the hydrogen peroxide inside this. Uh, I mean, it could be maybe, I could maybe have done it in a different way, but still something but uh, we can just give it another go and so, since there is a lot of 
paper here. Maybe just need some more of this. And just give it a go. And maybe let it sit a little longer. Maybe it's also on the outside, so I will just use the tissue to see if I can uh, do something about it on the outside. Okay, now here we go. And it changed a lot. There was both something on the inside and there was also something on the outside so that's great now i'll just use some uh, isopropyl alcohol to wipe it away and say that's all fine and uh, maybe i should do the same and have it having the a propyl in a small jar. <clears throat> and then do it again. Interesting stuff. So and maybe there is a little too much but we will see how it will go. But you can see, now, oh, wow, it's really clean. <laughs> it helps a lot. So that's actually great. And we can say, okay, and the next lens element, we'll just do it again. That's fine. Amazing what this stuff can do. And let's see, well, you can see on the inside there is a lot of dirt, <coughs> I mean, the next lens element. Oh, so now it's better. <coughs> and uh, so I just used the other end of this, uh, this plastic sheet. And then try to just use first, just use the uh, isopropyl alcohol. See how good it will go. So there. And we will probably do it again. No, I think it actually looks fine. I can just use the other side. Or just move the... the lens wipe a little longer. I think I will just do the other side and let's see how good it will go for that. It's a bit um, concave, so uh, maybe it's an, an issue with this, uh, let's see. Wow, <laughs> okay, interesting. Let's see. Nah, there is still something kind of a haze on the surface. <clears throat> so I will use the uh, hydrogen peroxide uh, again. And just cut a smaller piece here. 
this will be something there it's a bit nerdy is it yes just a little <laughs> uh, where did it go so this just use a little and where did it go here so there was something on the on the front of the uh, middle lens element so we can just uh, do it again Wow. Okay, we'll just do the other side. And I would say uh, I think it's all fine. Just move the lens tissue a little so we can use it again. So So there was actually haze. Okay, yeah, it helps a lot. But how much? Aha, uh -huh. well, in there you can see it helps a lot. Uh, so I only need to <laughs> clean the bag the very bag and the inside here and for that I made another of this uh, plastic sheet but I bent it a little in one end so it uh, will probably easier to to get into the there's a small frame in here made of plastic so it has to go through it and uh, yeah let's see uh, how it will go it can maybe I have to use the hydrogen peroxide again I don't know yet but wow okay I will just clean the back but there seems to be a lot of uh, of dirt on the back here so uh, just give it a go with some isopropyl alcohol and see if I can wipe it away if not well I can uh, use the um, the hydrogen peroxide but as you can see it's a really clean viewfinder. Ha. There's something dirty. So, how about that? I mean, my torch here is a bit dirty on the glass, but if we look through it, uh, you can see it looks really clean and so much better than it was okay so that's very very interesting in my opinion so I can just uh, add some glue on the um, I mean a little bit of contact <coughs> glue um, there is a tool here okay just a little amount something like that that must be enough and on the side here So, uh, 
and then put it on again. And keep a finger on it so it will it will uh, sit correct. Or oh, one could actually also use some of those clamps and just fix fix it like this. So it uh, can sit and dry. And that was actually that. I mean, it's amazing how how the difference is. So now I have a cl clear viewfinder. That was actually all for me. Uh, and we will, yeah, I will um, prepare the the last uh, assembly. Oh. Sorry, I forgot the window. I mean, the CDS window. Uh, yes, I will just uh, do a light cleaning. After that, for that, I will use a um, yeah cotton pad, <laughs> of course, and uh, with some isopropyl alcohol and wipe it gently on the inside and also on the outside and hopefully it will be good then find another spot over there and there is really a lot of dirt in this eye so now it looks much better in my opinion so Yeah, maybe there is still something on here or some kind of dirt. We can just uh, pull it away. So, and that's all for me. And uh, see you in part six, which will be the when I assemble the whole camera again back to normal. So see you soon. Bye bye.